Hi guys, and welcome back to another DACA City episode. So this time around guys, we're going to be doing the interior of the DACA Cargo Headquarters at DACA City International Airport. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Right guys, so starting on the ground floor, we of course need to put in some stairs. So we're going to have some stairs, we're also going to have an elevator with this building going all the way up. Now this is going to be the reception area, so as you come in, you know, making sure that if there's any guests, anybody that they might be, for example, interviewing for the warehouse jobs or the plane side of things, all of that, or just the op center, but of course, this is the main building for, this is where you will go and, uh, you know, sit down and then be, you know, taken elsewhere, those kind of things. Now I want to have a cafeteria in here and your task, guys, is to comment below what you think I should name this cafe, this kitchen, this restaurant that we've actually got in this building. So I wanted to go with like loads of colors in this, lots of style, We've got a good sized kitchen in the back there and this is where all of the workers, including all of the warehouse workers as well, can get themselves some food and some drinks and nice coffees, things like that. Going for some nice lamps uh, on the ceiling there and using invisible light, putting in loads of chairs as well, you know, really making it pop. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out, you know, overall, just thought it was pretty good. Going on to the other side now of this building, still on the ground floor, we're going to put in some toilets, we're going to put in some men's and some women's toilets. So we've got those down there and those and that design is going to be carried all the way up throughout the building, so we're going to have toilets on each floor. Now for all of the warehouse workers, there's some changing rooms in here and then that links up into the warehouse itself. So that'll be of course security code locked. You don't want to get anybody in there that can just walk in off the street. We don't want that at all. Now these rooms on the side here, we're going to have a nice big meeting room. So that can be used by mostly the warehouse staff, but you know, it's nice easy access for them. And then we've also got this nice little like coffee lounge downstairs as well. So if you want a quieter place to just, you know, have a chat, have a bit of coffee outside of the restaurant, you can do. Now we're moving on to the first floor and what we're going to put in here is a training room and that's actually going to overlook the warehouse so this can be used by the workers and everybody like that um, but also by the general staff as well so I wanted to make sure we've got enough rooms for everybody with this building a little bit of a kitchen on the side and this design is going to go all the way up as well except the top floor you'll see a slightly different design when we get up onto that now there's this little room at the side on this, so I decided, you know what, we're gonna put in the IT department here, we're gonna have some servers just on the side here, and this is gonna be IT, so this is to do with all the website design, those kind of things, any sort of systems that get developed for tracking parcels and all of those kind of things. So getting that on the side. Getting the engineering department as well, of course, very important to make sure that we've got some engineers around. Most of the time they'll be out and about, but there will also be some other designs as well, a bit of training and things like that. Got a bit of a printer room in the middle area here and also the office administrators as well. They're gonna be sat in there. Now coming along to the other side of this now, we're actually gonna have customer services. Of course, really important. We've got to have a good customer services base here. So lots of uh, telephone answering, things like that, answering emails, anything like that really, um, all of those. A lot of these, of course, could actually be work from home now. So that's always interesting. So we've got a couple of little bits of uh, manager's office on the side there. And then this room right here is gonna be for our sales team. So looking for new customers, bigger customers as well. And they overlook the warehouse. Onto the next floor now, we are putting in a bit of a meeting room right on the side here, and I decided to put in a printer room. So I've really tried to variate these floors, and also you'll notice there's a lot of glass to let in the natural light. I wanted that to flow all the way into the hallway. I initially started it without that, and it just looks so, so dark. So on this floor, we're gonna have HR, we're also gonna have marketing, which is what we're building right now. We've got the marketing department right there. So making sure that the products look good, getting all adverts, all those kind of things out there. Got a couple smaller meeting rooms on this floor, floor as well and now we're moving over into the ops center so with the ops center this is going to be all of the daily operations making sure everything is running smoothly with all of the trucks and all of the planes making sure everything's booked in so I had to make sure this is a nice big large area and lots of desks around here and then onto the side having the ops manager as well lots of staff under them in particular so there we go getting that all in now moving up onto another floor, this is where we're gonna have the boardroom. So this was just a perfect room. This is actually why I moved the kitchen. Cause it's like, oh, we've gotta have it where the boardroom actually overlooks the planes. How cool would that be? So we've got a really nice big boardroom in here. And then we've got the CEO's office right next to that. And their secretary is actually out in the hallway. And that secretary can then help with 
for example, the Chief Operating Officer. And that's actually the next office that we're working on right now is going to be the Chief Operating Officer. I tried to make each of these offices like slightly different. And actually, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So all good. We've got the Chief Technology Officer looking after the IT department as well as the Engineering Department. I was tempted to go with a Chief Engineering Officer, but uh, yeah, didn't in the end. Also got Chief Marketing Officer as well on that floor. Now coming over to here, this is the finance side of the building. So we've got procurement in here. And we've also got, for example, the Chief Finance Officer. So Chief Finance Officer, especially with this business, is very important to make sure everything's running fine. So they've got their own kind of secretary on this small side room, and then they've got a good corner office as well over on this side. So slightly separate, but still on the same floor. And then over on this bit here, we've got accounting. Accounting, very important as well, of course make sure all the accounts are up to date and everything is filed correctly and this is where I ended up putting in the break room and a bit of a kitchen here so this is on the top floor and of course because the big wigs love their stuff we're gonna have that there so just a quick whip through here we've got that nice reception area I really like this I like how there's lots of color in here love the cafeteria make sure you comment down your names for that kind of restaurant cafeteria area down there we've got the uh, customer service area I thought that was quite a nice little bit of a fly through there with a couple offices on the side just turn out right and I love this office it's my favorite office it's the chief finance officers office I just really liked it so I thought why not showcase this near the end and of course that boardroom overlooking all the planes that we're gonna have at Dhaka cargo headquarters thought that'd be cool but anyway guys hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have make sure to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one